the latest snowstorm has left a lot of ice in the trees and it's dropping all of these ice pellets down on the boat while I work. So I think I have to put another roof panel on. Not pretty, but it'll work. I've just been eyeballing everything as I go and I'm under the motto that if it looks right, then it is right. You can see I came pretty close here, about that far. And about that far, especially if I just bend that in a little bit. Not bad. Um, you can see though, if you look down this line, it leans in on the top over here. And it leans out on the top over here, about the midway section. So I'll have to pull that in as I secure the roof. Girlfriend got me new welding duds. The fireproof. Listen to this rain coming from the trees. There's a shot of the inside of the boat right now. Working in a raincoat on a sunny day. 36.8 degrees. So I've been working along the seam between the wall and the floor and all I've been doing is using a hammer to move the metal around. Here's a shot of how the floor and the wall seam is going and how they're matching up. Here's what it looks like from the outside. All right, so it's relatively flush here and here. I'm going to weld there, and then after it's heated up, I'll hammer. I'm saving the welding on the outside for the very end so that I can grind it down, make it all even, make it look nice, and try to do the best waterproof weld I can do. Not exactly flying along anymore. You can see how, what a difficulty I'm having with that spot. All three of these focused on one. So I'm hoping to pull that all in. I've got this horrible bend right here. Here is the latest scheme. I put these poles in the ground just to give me some more distance so that when I raise them up by putting that jack underneath one of these pieces, I'll be able to fill in with the dirt and then put a board underneath that. Because at first all I want to do is raise this up about uh, maybe a foot, maybe six inches, whatever gets this floor off of the ground. And then later on, I want to raise it up some more so that I can get the keel underneath it and weld it all in. So that's the scheme. I would much prefer to keep on welding the seams from the wall to the floor, but it's going to rain tomorrow, actually tonight, and after that, it's going to rain for like five days straight. So I want to be able to uh, get this up off the ground now and then work inside the boat during the storm. Turns out the boat's getting stiff enough now that it's lifted both sides. Look at how much clearance I got right there. After many hours, I think I finally got the whole thing up off the ground. Here's the workshop for today. This latest snowstorm sunk my boat in 25. It's actually day 26. No joy on that last technique. If I just hit it with the hammer, it does. All it does is bounce off. So, I had this idea. So this setup looks like it's gonna work really well. I've already just 
put a couple pumps into it and I moved it already about a quarter of an inch. So this I'm hoping will end up right about there. We'll see how far I can get it.